You okay? Just great, thanks. Try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest.
This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, 
We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I- It's not much but here. For the boy. Aw, oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. 
You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look. Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. This door leads to the back alley. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. A first aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. I'm 
gonna keep looking around. Okay. How you doing? Okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and... We didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please.
It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. That's what I figured. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. Outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. No! He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Where are you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... 
Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. I can't reach that brick. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. It's a combination lock. Let's head back inside. Okay. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog.
Hey, Connie. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> 